Alright, who's first then? Yeah. What's your feelings, I mean, as far as uh, tomorrow, you're in a really unique situation on the show because you're going to be following some, that's the uh, page, same thing. You're following some awesome wrestlers, you're in the semifinal on a major show, and I mean, it's a spot you want to be in, you've got the championship. What's your thoughts on, you know, it's like, you, but the pressure's on you to deliver. Yeah, uh, you're completely right. There's uh, so many big names on the entire show, and then uh, guys like myself and Paige are, uh, I guess, relatively new compared to guys like, you know, Suzuki who have been doing it for almost 30 years. Um, so it's a big opportunity for us, especially I believe we're a semi-main event. Um, going on before, probably one of the most talked about and biggest tag team uh, matches, or of any matches. Um, of our recent time, so it's a very big opportunity for both of us. Uh, you know, I've had, I've had big matches recently as well, so uh, starting to get a bit used to it, which is nice. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll both go out there tomorrow and try and give it our best. Um, what does it mean for you to be in as an international talent to defend the United States Championship in the United States? I always find it interesting. There's, interesting. There's been two United States champions. Neither one of them has been from the United States. So Kenny, uh, Canadian, and myself from New Zealand. So uh, um, you know, it's it's a, it's a odd feeling. And Paige is talking about wanting to take this and do it the American way. Um, and you know, it would be fitting for him for his story to do it on home soil. Uh, but it's going to make it that much sweeter when I beat him tomorrow and keep this uh, United States Championship in America, belonging to a New Zealander working for a Japanese company. What's it like as far as, you know, you, you in a sense started with New Japan uh, very early in your career. What's it like being trained essentially as a Japanese wrestler with, you know, with a lot of Japanese wrestlers? Uh, it's, it's always different. I find the difference between guys that start in the dojo, Japanese guys, and someone like myself or David Finley who were... We were I'd wrestled for two years before I got to New Japan. Same with Finley. Uh, having the outside experience is, uh, I think it's, I find it, it's priceless and it's so important. Um, I find a lot of the Japanese guys, when they're brought up through the dojo, that's all they know about wrestling, is what they're being told right then and there. Whereas, if you wrestle elsewhere, you can have a bit of an outside perspective on it as well. And I feel like you're just a little bit more ahead of the pack in, uh, in those terms. So, uh, I find it's a bit of an advantage coming through the dojo if you have experience elsewhere. So what's the major difference between the old version of Jay White and Switchblade? Like, what makes you Switchblade? What makes me Switchblade? Play with knives, basically. Carved my first pumpkin in my life last year, so maybe maybe that had something to do with it. But uh, it's just more of a carefree attitude, you know. Coming up through the dojo, guys like Finley and Juice would, you know, laugh at me. Not seriously, but about always making sure I was, I was always making sure I was, you know, doing the right thing, um, not stepping out of line or anything, kind of following that Japanese culture and uh, doing what the Japanese boys do. You know, in New Japan they go a little bit easier on the foreign young boys, uh, but I didn't want that path at all. I tried to do what the Japanese guys were doing. So that, you know, very much do what I was told, whereas now it's kind of just taking opportunities or creating them as well. Um, yeah, just not being too care, not caring too much about what people are telling me to do. It's more about what I want to do now uh, and make a own path. Also, thank you for turning your adorable dog also in the switch play. Yeah, no worries. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah. And a shirt, shirt fit and we found a squeaky toy, so it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> What's it mean having come up through the dojo system in New Japan to hold a New Japan singles title at this moment? It's rewarding. It's what you it's what you work for in the dojo. The whole point of being there is you put in the time and the effort and the grueling hours in the dojo to get onto the shows and the main events and the big positions and the big matches for championships like this one. Uh, it made it that much sweeter that I won this one from the guy who many consider to be the, the best wrestler in the world. Uh, and rightfully so. He's probably the most sought after guy. So. Um, you know, rewarding is an understatement, but it, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good feeling. What was it like for you going from a wrestler in preliminary matches that you could have on, and then you would return as like Tanahashi and Tokyo Dome? It's like, that's a big, that was a big step. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah it's a big jump. I said in an interview a couple of days ago, uh, you know, you look back a year ago from this time, uh, you know how people would know who I, who I 
there, but what I was doing wasn't doing anything notable. And, you know, fast forward from this now, and now I'm holding this, beat Kenny in this big match tomorrow as well. Uh, it's always a whirlwind, and you kind of need to take those moments at the time to kind of take a step back and think, oh shit, I'm actually here right now, this is actually happening. Um, so that's always a very uh, nice and gratifying feeling. on the foreign students, do you think that people at the LA Dojo might not get as hardcore training as people? They're not going to get it as hard. They're, it's, yeah, they're, trust me, they're going to get hard training, but they're not going to be, you know, when it's in the, in the Japanese Dojo, in Japan, at their home, you're not going to have all of the, uh, the older senpai coming through here as much as you do there. You would be there just who we came in, they might decide to put you through some sort of training. That's entirely up to them. Um, and having the other Japanese young boys around you, they're going to be a lot harder on them as well. So there probably would be a bit more lenient on guys here. Uh, but don't get, it, don't get it twisted, they will still push the guys here. But maybe because I said that, maybe they'll push them even harder now. Who knows? Yeah, I might have screwed everybody over. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.